Yo, what's good everyone? Rollo Tornado Jr. here. And in this video, we're gonna be customizing these all white diamond SBs into the yellow canary diamond SBs, the friends and family joints. The actual pair is limited to 250 pairs worldwide and resell at this moment currently goes for $2,000 and up depending on your size. I didn't feel like paying that price, so I decided to make what I call a poor man version of it. Before we start the video, I wanna go ahead and put a disclaimer out there and I wanna do a shout out. I am not the first person who did or thought of this custom. Secondly, shout out to sneaker YouTuber Alex, AKA Sneakerhead in the Bay for the video guide on his custom version, along with sneaker YouTuber and restorer John Manalo as well for his tips and tricks. Make sure you guys watch their video. The link will be down below in the description. Other than that, let's jump right into the video. All right, so these are all the materials and items I'm gonna be using for the customs. We got none other than the base pair, the all white diamond sneakers, a heat gun to speed up the drying process, Paint brushes. These paint brushes are just the ones that I kept over time and are still good to use. I got these paint brushes at my local Michaels Arts and Craft Store. Krylon Matte Finish, Golden GAC 900, an empty mixing jar, Angelus Yellow Paint, Angelus Jet Black Leather Dye, Angelus Soul Bright, Acetone, Masking Tape, Cotton Balls, and all the supplies that you see on the video, I'll go ahead and put a link down below in the description. First up, we gotta go ahead and take off the extra laces on the sneakers. Then we're gonna go ahead and unlace the sneakers followed by detaching the removable silver shiny swoosh. So what we're gonna go ahead and do first is acetone the uppers. This removes the factory varnish so when you paint the sneakers, the paint will adhere to the surface. Now, what I didn't realize is how easily the top coating of the leather comes off, which peels off very easily if you acetone the uppers by scrubbing too hard. You can see here I rubbed too hard, causing it to peel, but luckily it's in an area where it's hidden. After you acetone the uppers, the next step is to go ahead and mask the midsole for the prepping of the paint. For the back Nike area, I went ahead and used a smaller fine tip brush to work around the lettering. The next part is the sock liner along with the interior of the sneaker. I first went ahead and taped off the shoe tag. I then went ahead and used the GAC 900 and yellow paint for a 50-50 ratio using the empty mixing jar. For those that are unaware or just don't know what GAC 900 is, it's a fabric painting medium that helps blend the paint so the fabric that you are painting won't become stiff but rather a more soft fabric feel to it. What I'm doing next is the tongue tag, and I got this tip from John Manalo. So shout out to your boy, John Manalo, for this tip. Instead of painting the tongue tag, which can be very tedious, using the jet black letter dye method, not only does it save you time, but it's way easier. The only downfall to the leather dye method is that it can easily stain your skin, so wear gloves. And in this case, well, I didn't do that. And if you don't plan to wear gloves like I do, you can usually use rubbing alcohol or acetone to remove it. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the right pair. So all I'm doing is using acetone on the uppers to remove that factory varnish. Next up, I decided to work on the sock liner before painting on the uppers first. I feel like this method or this step is a lot easier. So after dyeing the tongue tag, I went ahead and paint the edges along with the holes on the toe box area along with the lace holes as well. Here's an example of the toe box area where the left side has been painted while the right side hasn't. It's a complete difference and in my opinion is highly recommended. It may seem very tedious, but you can clearly see why I say it's highly recommended. For the laces process, what I went ahead and did was use the 50-50 ratio using the GAC 900 and the yellow paint. I ended up using the end of the my paintbrush to mix the laces or you can get messy with it and use your hands. After the laces process mixture, I went ahead and squeezed out most of the paint off the laces and then I went ahead and let the laces air dry. You could use a heat gun to speed up the process, but for me, I just pretty much let the laces sit there and air dry. Now onto the soles, I actually had issues dyeing the soles black. The problem that I encountered was the mixture itself. At first, I thought this step was gonna be a breeze. I thought it was gonna be easy, but man, I thought wrong. What I didn't realize was that the 50-50 ratio 
of the jet black leather dye and using that soul bright sauce mixture wasn't mixing right and you know i wasn't too sure why i wasn't sure if i needed to keep applying the mixture onto the soles and then use the heat gun to dry it basically repeating that same process over and over and over again until i got that desired results that i wanted but I got frustrated and I just didn't work on the shoes for two days. 48 hours later. So I decided to try that method once more. So what I went ahead and did was apply that same 50-50 ratio of the leather dye and the sole bright sauce onto the soles. I went ahead and used the heat gun to dry it and simply do that same process over and over. And for whatever reason, it just worked. And I believe I probably didn't shake the materials that well but all I knew was that it was working and I was happy with it. Honestly, it probably took about seven to 10 coats, maybe more to really get that black looking sole rather than a clear translucent one. The second to last step to make this custom look factory as possible is painting the diamond stitch from white to yellow on the back part, just like the actual pair. And for the final step, I went ahead and used a Krylon matte finish spray to protect the uppers and to complete this custom. All right, make sure you to subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment what you guys think about these customs thank you again for watching my video and you guys enjoy i'm out yay and you know i'm coming harder than i did before king me bitch i made it all the way across the board never snore never snooze tell him if you learn from your ills you can never lose never had to lick cosign told me to alley you but you couldn't tell bro because my number's been through the roof uh, hey